How video 6 uh, looks at how to set up a fixture and also how to uh, then follow on and select a team. The first part of the process is carried out by a TMS administrator and the second part by a captain or manager. <clears throat> so I'm going to log in here as a TMS administrator. And because I'm an administrator I have an extra menu here and I'm going to go to fixtures <clears throat> I get a list of uh, fixtures here and to add a new fixture simply click on the plus new a form pops up and I'm going to quickly set up a, a, a new fixture I'm going to select um, <clears throat> a date of May the 4th and a start time of 8.30 AM at home the team um, is the veterans <coughs> fixture type is league I can now select the appropriate league from the pop-up menu the opponents are <coughs> Kings Hill Golf Club and the venue is Sundridge Park because we're at home and I select the appropriate course in the west course and I'm going to select the 12th tee. <clears throat> now if I click the submit button a new fixture has been set up on the 4th, here it is. Um, one thing to just quickly point out is that um, this system will link in with the course management system and this will uh, throw up that there's a fixture to book onto the course on that day at that time. Uh, the person responsible for managing the course bookings um, will look at that and book that uh, team fixture onto the course. At that time, if uh, any changes need to be made to the time, start time or the T, then um, <clears throat> when the uh, booking is made onto the course, uh, if that's any different from the, uh, the start time and T created here, then this will automatically be updated. I just thought it was worth pointing that out. Um, now then, so that is the first part of the process and the uh, administrator or administrators would perhaps once or twice a year log in here and put in complete fixtures um, th through using this form for the whole year and would come back into here to um, update and add extra fixtures um, that, that may be occurred throughout the season. Um, we'll be looking at, at this form again in more detail. So having looked at the first part of the process we will now <coughs> log in as a captain or manager. So I'm logging in as a veterans captain and um, notice here that uh, we have a new line here for the fixture that we've just created and notice that the uh, icons are all greyed out which indicates that nothing's been done yet so uh, I'm going to click on the update fixture button <clears throat> and I'm going to quickly um, complete the selection process etc for this fixture so we can see the information that was just entered we don't need to change that so we come down to further details. Scoring method, I'm going to select here match play. Pairing type, I'm going to put four ball pairs. Manager, <coughs> I'm going to select Douglas. As uh, captain, uh, Anthony Clark. Players, I'm going to select uh, eight. Arrangements, meet at the club at let's see what time are we playing it's at home it's 8 30 so meet at the club at uh, 7 45 a.m we obviously haven't got a match report yet so um, now having completed those fields there um, to save that information i click the green submit button and you'll notice that a message comes in here to say we need to select eight players. Okay, so 
and you can see that that information has been saved there. So we now go down to these subforms here, <coughs> and um, I'm first of all going to select uh, a couple of uh, substitutes. So there's one, there's another. I'm now going to select the eight players. <coughs> okay. So first one, second one. And see this is quite quick and notice how this drop down list reduces uh, as I keep selecting players so that uh, <clears throat> I can't accidentally select the same player twice and this is telling me how many players there are I still have to select so I've got another two to go okay one player last player here now notice what happens if I try and select too many players. It doesn't let me, which is good. Okay, so I've uh, I've selected uh, I've selected the players, and um, all of that has been uh, saved. Um, and that may be all that I want to do at this point in time. Um, <clears throat> It may be that I'm aware that some of these players here are definitely confirmed. Um, th these fields here would normally be automatically updated when members log in and confirm their availability. These will, will, will change to confirmed. But I could also update availability um, on behalf of players here. So let's say I know these first two in the list are definitely available and they've asked me to confirm them then I can simply select confirmed update confirmed update and if I go back up to the top of the form you'll notice there's a prompt here that now says there are six players still need to confirm their availability and we can see that that is correct um, <clears throat> now at this stage with the fixture not having been played the only other thing I might want to do is actually at this stage is to select the pairings um, uh, and the reason I might want to do this is so that when members log in they can see who they're playing with in advance of the fixture so I'm going to say right uh, I'm playing with him <coughs> and notice uh, how it, uh, the person I've selected to play with it updates their record as well so Dave Brian Dunn is going to play with let's say I make a mistake see what happens okay um, well what's happened there is because Brian Dunn is selected to play with me it's unselected uh, the previous selection that I made um, uh, which is correct so uh, now David Brown is going to have to play with somebody else okay and L Bridge is going to play with uh, okay and then we're down to the last one Dyer is playing with Wyborn okay and you can see how quick it is to put the team in and put the pairings in um, uh, the only other thing that might be worth mentioning here is let's say uh, one of these players cries off and I have to uh, remove them so Brian Dunn <coughs> can't play. Um, notice that because Brian Dunn was playing with David Abel, the pairing has now um, gone from against David Abel. Um, and I've got a notice here that I need to select another player. So I'm going to take the reserve Tim here. And in order to do that, I first of all need to remove him. And now I can go into here and select Tim. And then I can say, well, I'm going to play with Tim update and there we are so um, that should be pretty straightforward and quick to uh, for captains and managers to put the further details in um, select their team um, select their pairings and also remove players if they cry off and put in place a substitute <coughs>